What's up, Kermelnauts? This is Noel on PC, and of course, you can tell we're playing KSP. Uh, today's adventure is a little side quest. It's something that we've all kind of always wondered, like, why don't they just put parachutes on airplanes so when it starts crashing, you can just get out of it? And then, of course, you know, as, as future tech has progressed, now the idea is more of like a breakaway system, something where the cab and crew can break away and literally the pilots are left to coast a shell of a plane down. That's the theory anyways. So I thought I'd take a tr basically a, a crack at making one, and the previous version had the big jumbo jet engines on these little tiny wings, and it, it went off the end of the runway and exploded. So I thought if I move to a smaller... Hey, buddy. Yes, hello. I'm making a video. Can I make my video? Would it, would it be cool if I just kept making my video? There you go. Okay. Yeah, I had the big motors on. It was too heavy. It made a lot of thrust, but it was just too heavy. So it just went off the end of the runway into a big ball of flames. It couldn't get the lift it needed. So I moved down to these afterburns. I figured they'll probably have a better chance. Oh, okay, bye. Thank you for visiting. Um, I figured this will have a better chance of getting off the end of the runway. So let's uh, let's crash this fucker. Let's start. Yeah, we're going to start wet. Yeah, definitely start wet. Okay. We're going to F5 quick save because I don't know what's going to happen. There we go. I have a feeling this thing's going to get really squirrely. Yeah, it's already pitching to the right of it. I only got to get up to probably like 60-ish, 70-ish. Okay, okay. It started getting squirrely, so I pulled the nose up. All right, it works. If, well, I mean, it flies. <laughs> Whether or not it's actually going to break away properly, I'm worried that the back end's going to get destroyed, and with just wings, we're going to crash. Um... This should work. Let's ditch right here. Like, let's pretend we're on a ditch takeoff. Oh, it worked! Oh my god, it totally worked. Where is it? Haha! -ha. Okay, that's awesome, right? I can't believe that worked. And it actually is coming down at a really good pace. 15 meters a second should survive. Whew, okay, I thought we lost this thing. Now, now the hard part. We have to, okay, we have to land this like it's basically it's like a hang glider with like mega engines on it it's oh, okay it has way too much roll but it, it it flies it flies so i mean in theory this is kind of what i envision for the sort of escape system but it's flawed in that you know those people are at the mercy of a all the shoots working B, all the shoots holding. It's a lot of weight. Um, and coming down somewhere survivable. <laughs> all of these things... Oh, can we turn these off really quick? Okay. Stay on course. Stay on course. Did it. Um, all of these things would be... would have to go just right for the situation to work. It would make sense, like, on takeoff and landing, you know, to have the breakaway system. Well, maybe not landing. You know what I mean, like at a safe altitude. <laughs> this would be a handy thing to have. But a lot of the time it's not going to be applicable. So there it is sitting there. Cool. Hey buddies. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay. Okay, we're still <laughs> we're still not down. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Are we doing it? Are we do we did we do it? Awesome. Sorry that thing was up on the screen. I was way too focused on actually not crashing. Okay, this is awesome. So we put something from theory to practice, and it actually worked. Yep, our crew, our precious cargo, Mod Team 6, successfully landed on the tarmac. Not a scratch on them. Everybody's doing gloriously. All right, guys. I hope you like the video. I hope you comment. I hope you share. I hope you do all the things you guys do as YouTubers. 
And until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.